Hi, it's Leslie, Seeking Sister Wife. And now we're talking about the Davis family. That would be Jennifer, April, Danielle, and ever so lovable Nick. What's nice about this is Danielle literally just said she's open to dating again. And I, I tell you, I think she the words left her mouth and I think uh, April and Jennifer went to the other rooms and opened up their computers and started swiping left and swiping right because already they have met another girl. I wish they could explain to these other people that are looking for these sister wives how it was done because this seemed to take no time at all. And, and they found, always a surprise to me that they find these people, they found another willing victim in the name of Jasmine. And there's a lot of Jasmines and Italias in all this reality TV for what it's worth. So they wasted no time and I tell you, they kind of reeled her in, set up the first meeting because you know, Nick doesn't do this either. You no, know, no, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. Um, the girls find uh, the future sister wife and they go out and have a nice friendly game of Jenga. What you got, Danielle? So, you know, just to get into it, like, have you ever been in a polygamous relationship? Um, I've kind of been, like, interested in it, but I've never actually, like, dove head first into it. Okay, okay. So they hit her with the question of, like, oh, so why are you uh, entertaining this ridiculous lifestyle of polygamy? Well, they didn't quite phrase it like that, but, you know, something like that, you know? Like, well, what made you interested in this nonsense? You know what I mean. I am looking for a situation similar to this one, and I feel like this would be a great opportunity to make some mom friends and have a stable environment for my son. Interesting. Now my take on this. At first I was like, well, what about Nick? Are you into that at all? Like, you know you have to sleep with this guy every every fourth day? Is that how that works? Does, does, does he rest on Sundays? I don't know. I have questions. But anyway, you do have to engage with this person. So... But here's my take on her, and it actually makes sense. So she wants friends. You know, you got to say that because that makes them like, oh, yeah, we want friends because they're all, I'm convinced they all are psychologically, or they were deprived of something in their childhood, and this female bond, it's filling something. They, it's filling something. They've had trauma. You can't convince me elsewise. But she wants a stable environment for her son. This is what she's thinking is like, she probably had her job doing whatever. I, I don't think she's making a ton of money, but she's like, oh, they're gonna give me a place to live. So basically this is room and board and I only have to sleep with this guy, what, once a week we're looking at? You know, once, twice a week tops or whatever, how the weeks slice up, who knows, you know? I mean, what a great deal, room and board. She gets her a little job, throws a little in the kitty, the pot, whatever they're doing for the, you know, the, the wing that Nick wants to build on the back, but this is a great gig for her. And her son gets to have other people pick him up from school and do all the things. So she's like, I got more helpers. This is great. It's cheaper than hiring a babysitter. Who are we kidding? This is the way to go. Another smart woman. So I think this one has found the, um, the, the way in how this can actually work in a positive way for her. She's too smart. I, I'd like to think someone's too smart to be falling for all this crap. But anyway, of course, Jasmine, you know, music to their ears says she wants to have more kids. Of course, they love that. Kids, kids, kids. I love being pregnant, honestly. I love having babies. I'll populate the whole next generation if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and then this question comes on, and you, I'm so fascinated with the whole the bed situation and the sleeping, you know, the layout. I, I, I need a PowerPoint on this. Nick? Could you get on that? Could you, this be your one task that you do this week? Give me a PowerPoint of the sleeping arrangements and how it all works, because I need to know that. But anyway, they ask her this. Jasmine, how would you feel about sharing a bed with four other people? Ooh. I'm like, oh my God, that's the question. I think that would be fine, but I do hog the covers. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Don't put me at the end, or okay. else no one will have covers. Will you just like roll? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. 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 Of course, she's just like, oh, well, you know, I steal the covers, you know, trying to make light of it and everything. Of course, she's open to that too, because she's open to everything. She was yes, yes, yes. She was yesing him to death. But she was like, just don't put me on the ends because I steal all the covers. And I was like, oh, hell no. Wait, 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 wait. You actually are probably going to be on the end because it is, it's the lipo system. Last in, first out. No, no, no. You don't get to jump over a chick. And, and that's a big jump. No offense. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Um, no, 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 no. You're, you're on the ends. You don't get that first, you don't get next to Nick. That You have to earn that spot and you didn't earn it. So that she's gonna, is going to be a rude awakening. Oh, hell no. And how big is this friggin' bed? I mean, when you're talking four, no, five people... It's obviously in, it's obviously custom at this point, right? It's gotta be custom. Are they stringing together a whole bunch of double beds? Who, who gets stuck in a little crack there? 
Or do you put a, like, oh, I have questions, I have questions. And then they answer another question that's dear to my heart. In our household, the women work and Nick stays home. How do you feel about that being such a non-traditional style? Yeah, how do you feel about that? Like, the men stay home. My dad worked nights, so my dad was always at home with us, and my mom was the breadwinner. She made more than he did. So you were used to that. Yeah, I'm honestly, yeah. like, used to it. Like, it's totally fine. Like, the women go out, we do all the grunge, while the strongest stays home and watches after the kids. I, I like that's how it should be. I love that. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, that's kind of the same, but not really. They have a little bit of a different situation. Um, he is not working at nights. Um, if you know what I mean. I mean, he works a little at nights, but he's not, he's not bringing home the bacon, if you know what I mean. He only does a little bit at night, and in the daytime, I don't think he's watching the kids either. Not really sure what this Nick does. We need to know that too. So it's not quite like that, but Jasmine's just all in. She says, yes, 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 sign me up, sign me up. Well, it's good to know that I'm actually thinking the same way as the sister wives here, because they also thought this. I really, I don't, have anything that would make me jealous, I guess. Jasmine being very agreeable to all the things that we've discussed that come with a plural relationship can potentially be a red flag. <gasps> because do you really feel that way or is it something that you just want us to like what you have to say? Yep, yeah, big freaking wave and red flag but they're gonna ignore it. So after that game of Jenga, she is ready for a date with Nick. That's so simple. But Nick's no fool. He doesn't wanna bring in anybody that's gonna upset the apple cart of his great situation that he has. So he has to make sure that his wives have uh, kind of vetted this person and make sure, you know, she's on board with what, what they got going on here. Are you able to really like tell her about our lifestyle or how our relationship is arranged? And yeah, in other words, that um, you all work and you take care of the kids, you have the babies, and I don't do anything, I stay home and I don't actually legally marry any of you, so when I hit the road because I'm done with this shit, that I don't have to pay alimony because I'm not married to any of you and I don't have a job, so child support will be like a dollar. Um, yeah, did you did you let her know that? Just, just want to make sure that you let her know that because, you know, if she, when she finds that out, she might be a little upset, so we got to like... Kind of slide it in while they're in the while they're in the um, the honeymoon stage of dating, you know, while she's receptive to, you know, yeah. And then we just have these last words from Nick, and this is where I have to start taking anti nausea medicine or something because this show. Bleh. Anyway, here's Nick. I'm more than a little bit excited to meet Jasmine. You know, got to see some pictures of everyone together. She, she's a beautiful woman, and uh, she seems like she's got really good energy and, and personality. I'm sure you are, Nick, and that just makes my stomach turn and gross. Ew. Oh God. I Give me strength to get through this show. But anyway, I follow this nonsense every week. So if you want to follow along, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next week. Bye.